purple wine, all black. Very sinister. It's like we're going to our funeral. came down to work out um, so if you follow me on Instagram you know that from my like months of struggles that I got back on track this past week and I lost just over a pound and it felt really good about that and you know that's good and then I usually have a cheat meal on the weekend one, like one meal but I was at a baby shower this past weekend and for some reason I went nuts I guess I hadn't been back on track long enough to really make it like a habit so I went nuts like not only on the food that was there but also the desserts which usually aren't a trigger for me not a temptation so I went crazy on the desserts like um, there was cupcakes cupcakes and baklava and it was delicious and I ate multiples of everything. I'm just hoping that if I'm um, on track and on my routine this entire week then that Sunday that I went crazy because it wasn't a cheat meal it was a cheat day. I'm just really hoping that that doesn't like ruin like I don't gain weight at least. Um, whether I lose or stay the same, that's cool. But I just hope I don't gain weight and set myself back because I want to keep up the momentum and keep going. So, yeah, I'm going to work out. Jim's already over there warming up. And I shall join him and get this workout done. <laughs> I did 40 minutes of weights and I'm gonna do right now I'm at 22 minutes on the Stairmaster at level 4 probably gonna go to 30 minutes I just want to say if you have been like messing up with food and you've gained some weight and you feel like you just can't get back on track and you're just down in the dumps and gloomy and whatever have a really good workout force all put all of your energy into having a really good workout in the a.m. right when you wake up 
and I promise you, at least for that day, you will be in such a good mind frame to be healthy. Like, yesterday I didn't work out, and I continued to just, like I went over my calories. It was healthy food, but I went over my calories, continuing from my bad weekend. But today, having this really, really good, focused workout, I'm already so pumped. So, I think like the first step of getting back on track is having a really good workout because even though 80% of weight loss comes from food, the workout is what's gonna put you in the proper mind frame and positive mind frame and it just makes you feel so good that you don't want to eat junk because your body feels so good. So you wanna keep that going. I love when I talk to you guys because my heart rate skyrockets and then helps me burn more calories. Okay, six more minutes. And then I'm done. Jim already left. I'm now alone in here, all by my onesies. So here's my post-workout breakfast. I have a couple of hard-boiled eggs with some toast and jam. I get this jam at Costco. It's a strawberry jam, has no artificial colors, half the calories, which is pretty good because mostly um, jams are like 50 or 100 calories per tablespoon, and this one's just 25 calories, so that's pretty good. Um, I have green tea, water, and I'm ready to eat. Hey guys, so it's lunchtime now, and I'm just having a quick protein shake. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. One, um, I had breakfast pretty late, so I'm still full, I'm still good, but I want to eat anyways because I think it's good to keep your metabolism going. Um, and the other reason is I want to keep the calories low since I'm having dinner with my mom and sister and I just want to make sure not to go over my calories like I've been doing a lot lately. So um, yeah, we go out every Tuesday night. We usually go out for dinner and a movie or sometimes we like order in food and watch a movie. Tonight we're working on some wedding stuff, which you'll see later. And yeah, I think she's I think she's making veggie burgers and potatoes, if I'm not mistaken. So I just want to make sure I have enough uh, calories for that because her food's always so good. So yeah, I'm just gonna have my protein shake, um, continue working, and she will pick me up soon, and you will come along. So my mom came to the grocery store to get veggie burgers, and then the was it a fire alarm? Yeah. It was like an alarm and everybody was evacuated. Now we can't go in. Are they letting anyone in yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Is the alarm still going off? Yeah. Left my basket with all my groceries in there. <laughs> I, I think it's soon though. Looks like it's going to be soon. Oh, really? Looks like it's going to be soon. Okay, I might take a chance in. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Sure, we can wait. Mom, yeah. <laughs> my mom found these portabesh. What? Portabesh. <laughs> Swiss portobello. Mm. And President's choice. 110 calories, which think, is pretty um, good. 130. Or 130. We'll see. Let's we'll go. See. Yeah, lean burgers. Okay. So these are beef lean burgers. How many calories are those? They are 210, which okay. is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then where are the portobello? Now I know. Yeah. I just been here. <laughs> oh, I found it. Both twists are one thirty. One thirty. Pretty good to have cheese in it too. That looks good. I get them. Do it. I wonder if I should get one. A pack for home. Because Jim has beef burgers at home and I don't have anything. There's, uh, there's four. Oh, there's four. <laughs> Do you want? Some artichokes. Are those roasted? Grilled. 
grilled artichoke hearts are so good. Okay, I'm so excited for this dinner. I saved a lot of calories for this dinner. I love tomatoes. So fruity. Looks good? Yep. Got enough? I have some tomatoes at home too. So we got a couple of heads of lettuce to, um, to have like funless burgers. We'll see if that works. I took all the big potatoes. Good enough. <laughs> Look how fast I did it. Okay. doing the wedding favors so first we packed the first we bottled the wine like you saw in the other vlog and now and then we got these made and now I'm attaching them to the bottles I think they look pretty they look great <laughs> Look at this dinner. So good. A potato salad and a portobello and Swiss burger. Hey guys, so we just got home and those wedding favors took five and a half hours to put together. I'm so shocked. I didn't think it would take that long, but at least they're done. Another thing we can check off the wedding list. There's 25 days, guys. 25 days. So it's good to have like things getting done and oh my gosh, that day is just going to be here before I know it. It already is. This year flew by. So yeah, I'm just going to edit this vlog now so that it can get up for you tomorrow and that's it. Hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, um, subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.